friends, the topic which we are going to discuss today is the Hepatitis B Serology. Now this is a very important but yet a very confusing topic. Many clinicians and many students misinterpret this topic due to the difficulty in interpreting the different serological marker results. So the different markers which are needed to interpret the results for Hepatitis B Serology are as follows. First of all is the Hepatitis BS antigen versus the Hepatitis BS HBS antibody. Then we have the anti-HBC IgG versus the IgM. Then we have the HBE antigen versus the HBE antibody. And uh, we are going to discuss all of this in the next few slides on how to interpret all of these. So without wasting any further time, uh, let's get on with the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep on receiving great study videos. Now this is an important mnemonic which you need to remember for interpreting the results for serology of hepatitis B. Now the mnemonic goes as follows that the initial period was aggressive. What does initial show? Initial shows the A, the period the for example the time period that signifies the C and aggressiveness shows the E now what does this mnemonic turn into that is the ACE all right uh, A C E you have to remember these three words in your mind that the initial period was aggressive and the and the letters corresponding to these three words are the ACE so as a whole the mnemonic becomes the initial period was aggressive ACE. ACE in, in the ACE, the A goes on to show the initial entry or the vaccination. The C goes on to show acute or chronic period which was signified by this and then the E uh, over here E shows the aggressiveness of the disease. So you have to remember the initial that is the A uh, in, uh, in correspondence with this it shows that it shows the entry or the vaccination. So in actual uh, the uh, serology, the hepatitis B S antigen or the HBS antigen shows the entry. HBC shows the time period and HBE shows the aggressiveness of the disease. Now let's take this for an example that a serological report for hepatitis B comes in front of you and you have to interpret the results. Now the most common situations have been written in front of you and how to interpret this. First of all we will look at the most common situations that can come across in the daily life of a clinician or in the exams of a student and in the next slide uh, or, or the last slide which is coming up next we are going to discuss the special circumstances which you can come across in the serological report for HEP B. So the most common combinations uh, that can be seen are the incubation period, the acute period or the chronic period. Now what happens in incubation period? In the incubation period the hepatitis BS antigen is going to be positive and the anti-HPC is going to be positive. Since it's an incubation period so there's no active viral replication and the virus is not in its active stage or it's not showing its signs and symptoms. It's dormant actually and when it's dormant only the HBS antigen is positive and HBS antigen fellows is always positive. It goes on to show that the virus has entered. Okay, it shows on uh, the entry of the virus. As we had discussed in the mnemonic that the initial was represented by A. So if the virus has entered the body, the A is going to be positive or the HBS antigen is going to be positive. And over here it shows the entry or the vaccination. So in the incubation period HPS antigen is going to be positive and anti-HBC uh, which can be of the IgM or the IgG variety and this the IgM is going to be positive. Now what happens in the acute phase? Acute infective phase uh, first of all the HBS antigen is going to be positive because of course the virus has entered initially all right uh, if it had entered initially of course hps antigen is always going to be positive in each and every case so this is going to be positive in most of the cases 
then NTSBS is going to be negative, all right, since the virus has entered, so it's positive and no NTHBS is produced as yet. And then NTHBC, if it's acute, you have to remember that in the acute cases, the IgM variety for the HBC is going to be positive, but in the chronic phase, the IgG variety of the NTHBC is going to be positive. All right, the only difference, the main difference which you see over here in the acute versus the chronic is that HBS antigen is positive in both, but over here in the acute phase, the IgM antigen is positive of the HBC, but over here, the IgG variety of the HBC is positive because IgM shows acute and IgG shows chronic. Now remember, this uh, antigen, which is the ant uh, HPE antigen, it always shows the aggressiveness of the disease. No matter what the stage of the viral uh, entry is, if the H uh, HPE antigen is positive, it goes on to show that the virus is aggressive in nature, all right? That the viral replication is going on at a much faster pace or the viral replication is uh, going on at, uh, a, uh, at a really uh, rapid rate, all right? And that the virus uh, replication is aggressive. And uh, if the acute, if it comes positive in the acute phase, that goes on to show that the virus is acute and the virus is aggressive or replicating actively. And if uh, the HPE antigen comes out to be negative, that goes on to show that the person uh, has a low viral count or has a low viral load or he or she is in the recovery phase. So HPE, wherever you find positive, that goes on to show the active or the aggressiveness nature of the disease. Over here you see that the NTHBE is negative in all these cases because uh, in the acute phase also it has a high viral load and uh, has aggressive nature so it's going to be negative over here and in the chronic phase it's also going to be negative because still to some extent the viral is replicating and HPE antigen can come out to be positive or negative uh, so that depends. It's not always positive in chronic cases but it has a high tendency to come out positive in acute cases. Now some special circumstances which I told you in the last slide that we'll be covering, covering in the next slide <laughs> is that if the anti-HPS antigen is positive only, that is, uh, the anti, uh, that is the HPS antigen is also negative, all the other antigens and the antibodies are negative, only and only the anti-HPS antigen is positive, then that goes on to show that the person has undergone vaccination and is successful, okay? Now the next special point which we are going to consider for the serology is that if the anti-HBE antigen is positive, it indicates low viral application or the recovery. Just like I told you in the last slide and the pre-core antigen is an important concept which you need to keep uh, in mind while considering the chronic state of the hepatitis B. But in the pre-core mutant, this is uh, the exception that in the chronic phase, uh, it's active, uh, it's uh, replicating actively, but the Hep E antigen is negative. So pre-core mutant is all about this: that uh, the virus is in the chronic phase, it's uh, replicating actively and it's aggressive, but the Hep E antigen is negative. So that's all about this video. If you like the video, don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep on receiving great study stuff. Thank you so much.